All right, shifting focus now to the Indian economy. India's GDP growth has crashed to 5% for the quarter of April to June. Now, this versus 5.8% in the previous quarter. Now, this is a six-year low uh, as far as the GDP, GDP growth is concerned. Uh, sectors such as construction, uh, mining, all of them uh, contributed uh, to this slowdown in growth. The quarterly GDP estimates for the quarter ending June 2019 indicate that India's GDP growth while still high, has shown some slowdown. Similar phenomena have also been observed previously before during the quarter ending Q4 2012-2013, Q4 2013-2014, when growth was around 5%. This has been on account of both exogenous and endogenous factors. The government is quite alive to the situation, especially global headwinds arising out of deceleration in the developed economies and Sino-American trade conflict has contributed uh, to the slowdown. All right, uh, economist uh, Aditi Nair is uh, joining me on the phone line. Aditi, thanks for uh, talking to Mirror now. Uh, your first off uh, reaction as far as the numbers are concerned, uh, because this was al also much lower uh, than what was being estimated. Thank you. Certainly, the Q1 uh, GDP number has come in significantly lower than what we were estimating, but it's largely really only because of the manufacturing sector. In fact, in all the other subsectors, uh, the pace of growth has either been at par or maybe even uh, slightly uh, higher largely than uh, what we were expecting. Uh, so it's really this collapse that we've seen in the manufacturing GDA growth to uh, sub 1% that has led to the overall GDA number coming in so much lower than expected. I suspect that it's really an inventory correction uh, that has taken place in this quarter. We did uh, have evidence of that uh, coming in from uh, multiple sectors. We saw contraction in uh, auto production, FMCG also. Uh, we did get... Uh, uh, indications of a slowdown in uh, the pace of growth and even merchandise exports uh, contracted in uh, value terms. So to some extent, uh, you know, uh, the volume being so weak has offset the fact that commodity prices were quite soft, which would have provided some bump up on uh, the earning side and on the uh, gross value added. I would say having looked at this rate uh, now, it does look like we're going to get a sub 6.5% uh, GDP and GDP growth for the full year. Uh, so lower than uh, what uh, uh, we have for FY19. And uh, possibly now even uh, the MPC would uh, undertake another uh, revision in their baseline uh, growth projection for FY20, uh, followed up with uh, further accommodation in the October uh, policy review. Right. Uh, so, Aditi, the fact that this is, in fact, a six-year low that we're talking about, of course, the chief economic advisor has said that uh, we've seen low growth rates in the past and we've bounced back. But uh, given the circumstances we are in at this point of time, how worried would you say uh, you are as far as this number is concerned? See, let me just uh, put it this way. If we remove manufacturing, the rest of the economy has grown by 5.9%. So it's not nearly as weak as what the headline number is telling us, but it's really nowhere close to what uh, we would like the pace of growth to be. So there are concerns, and uh, we have seen a lot of uh, uh, repo rate cuts from the MPC already. We've seen a package being announced by the government as well, and uh, possibly uh, more measures uh, may follow to be able to arrest the slowdown in growth. But there are constraints uh, to economic growth that uh, may not uh, go away in a hurry. So... Um, uh, therein, we still remain concerned over uh, the overall outlook. I would expect uh, this Q1 number to be the bottom and, uh, you know, partly uh, because of the base effect and partly because we don't expect this kind of inventory correction uh, to take place in the future quarters. Uh, we do think that uh, the next few growth prints are at least going to be better than what we've seen today. But uh, overall, it does look like it's going to be a subdued uh, year and that uh, some of the structural factors that are consuming growth will take longer to dissipate. Uh, Aditi, request you to please be on the phone line with us. Uh, I also want to